Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. To begin, please take a look at this video. Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokémon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokémon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. Pokémon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokémon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokémon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie! Hello, I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never-before-seen Pokémon that await you in the Gala region, but allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokémon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. 
This Pokémon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Gala region, who use it to craft popular specialty goods. This Pokémon here is Gossifleur, the flowering Pokémon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to have healing properties. This next Pokémon is called Dreadnor, the bite Pokémon. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokémon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokémon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. As many of you already know, some Pokémon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokémon. When Gossifleur evolves, it becomes Eldegoss. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokémon. That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokémon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokémon you're already familiar with. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokémon that inhabit the Gala region. Meeting lots of Pokémon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokémon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokémon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokémon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokémon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokémon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokémon battles. Pokémon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. All the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokémon will revert to normal after three turns. So, you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokémon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokémon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokémon. In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokémon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. 
Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle, so coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid battles, so we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Max Raid Battles features strategic, cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokémon, which is a first for the main series of Pokémon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try Max Raid Battles with all sorts of other players. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the Galar region, and also the current champion. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokémon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. Hop dreams to one day become champion just like his elder brother and he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Their abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokémon gyms in the Galar region. You and your rival will need to take on the Pokémon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokémon to be Dynamaxed. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokémon on their teams, so you will need to counter them with some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax Pokémon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the grass type expert, Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon, and you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown off quite a bit today. But, I have one more video I would like you to see. Please take a look.
The two Pokémon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokémon of the Gala region, called Zacian and Zamazenta. Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokémon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield. There are many more Pokémon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it! Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will be available on November 15th, 2019 as a global simultaneous release. On the same day, we'll also be offering a dual pack version which includes the following contents. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Galar region. Thank you for watching.